Aaron and I recently decided to take a tour of Cold Springs Harbor Laboratory, which was the American seat of eugenics for pretty much the first half of the 20th century. And then it also has a certain amount of CO2 in there, pressure, all these things that the cells are used to from inside your body such that they keep growing even though they're no longer in the body. They didn't tell us anything throughout the entire tour that had anything to do with that history whatsoever, and they especially wouldn't tell us where the eugenics record office actually was located, so we had to go find it for ourselves. That's it. This house used to be the eugenics records office. It is now a private residence and it was really, really hard to find and we're probably not even supposed to be sitting in this person's driveway filming it right now, but the fact that it's so hidden and they won't even tell you where it was located, it takes forever to find it back in the woods, tells you a lot about how much they want this place to be forgotten. When we finally found it tucked away in the woods, up the road from the actual Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, we realized that there's actually no information about the actual address of the house itself tying the location to the fact that it was the eugenics records office for 30 years. This is it. Eugenics records office. And the only thing we could actually find is this one article here, which is only three paragraphs long, actually more like three sentences, four sentences long. And the first one is basically completely misleading and it just really doesn't tell you anything from there. The house itself is actually up for sale again. And it even includes a nice video. Unfortunately, it leaves out just a few details. So we thought we'd make our own video. Be a true part of the 0.001% with this gorgeous, historic, stately Georgian colonial mansion, which literally encapsulated the elite mentality of exterminating the impoverished and genetically inferior from the time it was built in 1913 until at least 1940, otherwise known as the Eugenics Record Office. Connect with the countless hours spent promoting and scientifically justifying racist attitudes and an invisible caste system against, quote, defectives, ideas that were later exported straight to Nazi Germany. Live in the same elegant home featured in this 1927 eugenics brochure about improving the, quote, qualities of the human family. Stand on the very same Victorian rotunda porch where the founder and director of the eugenics record office, Charles Davenport, and Harry H. Laughlin stood chatting about lobbying for legislation to forcibly sterilize the weak and unfit. Take your brunch in the same lavish dining room where eugenics workers poured over countless reports and data they pooled from insane asylums, prisons, orphanages, and homes for the blind to create pedigree files of families thought to be unfit burdens on the rest of proper society, including minorities, the poor, the quote feeble-minded, and more. Enjoy the original eugenics greenhouse in your very own backyard. Perhaps a vague but tangible symbol of the genetically modified crops the poor are silently forced to eat daily, all while within an arm's reach of Cold Spring Harbor's crop research facilities. By contrast, your drive, bordered by rock walls, is just minutes from an all-organic grocery store in the Cold Springs Harbor where you can enjoy fresh-caught seafood and snotty wine on a yacht. Come home to the same carefully manicured front lawn where the Eugenics Record Office field worker training class of 1916 had its official picture taken. Meanwhile, this true blue blood property, built and donated specifically to create the Eugenics Records Office by Mary Harriman, mother of the Skull and Bones diplomat Avril Harriman, boasts some of the area's largest tulip trees and is the very grounds where for most of the first half of the 20th century, Scientists slaved away at instituting racism and class segregation of, quote, degenerates under the banner of science in America and abroad. And this elegant residence is also so private, 
You'd never know it was a large part of the Cold Springs Harbor Laboratory for decades leading into World War II. Thanks to teams of day laborers, post-war whitewashed history will also coat the walls and line this picturesque, stately two-acre property. And don't worry, it won't be mentioned on the laboratory tour. 1682 Laurel Hollow Road won't show up in any internet searches for eugenics, but it just could be your little elitist piece of scientific dictatorship paradise. But it could be your little elitist piece of scientific dictatorship paradise. Inquire today. On a side note, you guys, it's, it's very creepy how they have hidden this place. They've basically whitewashed it from their history. They won't really tell you where it's even located because they're like, well, it's a private residence. Even though this building is directly involved in lobbying and pushing for and justifying the sterilization laws that would affect tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of Americans throughout most of the 20th century who were forcibly sterilized in their respective states is because of that eugenics record office. So it affects every person, but they won't tell you where it is. And the fact that they're selling it and they're not even mentioning in the sale, oh, by the way, <laughs> this place has a heavy affiliation with eugenics or Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory or really just any information about it all. It's pretty horrible whitewashing of history, if you ask us. <laughs>